I'm Mike Scarborough of Parts here. I want to talk a little bit about uh, the 2150 and the power valve. Uh, on the 2150, power valves can come as a single stage type or a dual stage type, okay? Um, and you will find, like on this one, it has a cover for a dual stage. They're deeper. And remanufacturers will often just put the single stage in there. That'll work just fine. The dual stage will be uh, more finesse, but uh, the single stage will work. You probably won't even know the difference. So if you see that, don't get too excited. Just put another single stage in there. You cannot put a dual stage in where there was a single stage if it has the shorter cover. It's just not going to fit. See, they're that much higher. So uh, that's just not going to work. Okay, so if somebody recommends putting a dual stage, uh, uh, you're going to have to try and find a cover. You can't buy these, so you're going to find a used one somewhere. All right, so this one has happens to have a single stage in. Now what this does, let me take this out. What the power valve does, it gives you on power, uh, when you're at higher speeds, you need a little more fuel uh, that, and even that the main jet can't handle. Uh, so what this does, as this gets pulled in like this and it's closed when you have full vacuum, so at idle, in low speed, you got uh, a high vacuum or higher vacuum. And as you speed up, your vacuum drops and it allows this to open up and then allows fuel through here. Okay, so that's how it works. Now on the two speed, two stage, uh, same principle. You can tell two stage because it has the adjusting uh, screws on both ends, which uh, you should not mess with. Uh, you need a test bench, a very sophisticated test bench, in order to adjust these. So you're better off just buying one. Uh, uh, if you want different uh, vacuum settings, uh, buy one to the setting you want. And uh, anyway, uh, the dual stage, like I say, works same as a single stage. As the vacuum drops, it opens up, and in this one, this may the first stage may open up at uh, let's say uh, seven and a half uh, inches of vacuum, and then the second stage might open up at the high, very high speed at two uh, inches of vacuum. And like I say, it just gives you a little more finesse. Okay, so next thing you want to when you're replacing your power valve. Uh, well, one thing to watch for is when you take this off, if there's any gas in, in here, uh, that's not supposed to have, happen. All this out here should be dry. So if you are getting gas, uh, one of two things could be happening. Your diaphragm is uh, punctured here and leaking gas through. Or the other possibility is your gasket is leaking. Uh, it may be not centered. Now, this one is, is uh, actually is probably the wrong gasket for this. You've got a flat surface here and they got the gasket on here, if it gets tightened up at like that position, uh, it's going to leak air. And so that's not going to work. So on this one, uh, you would probably want a gasket more like this. It's got the little three little tits on it, and those are simply to keep the gasket centered. And that's what that's all about. Now if you have one of these, it's not a big deal. It'll work. Just make sure it's centered as you tighten it up. Okay? You may have to move it around a little bit. Uh, now I have heard that gaskets sometimes uh, may leak gas, depending on the gasket. These are ours are nitrate, black nitrate uh, sealed, so they don't leak fuel. But if you suspect it is, or you want to try it, put a little Permatex gasket maker just on the edge here. Don't get any on the surface. Uh, the last thing you want to do is get any in the carburetor itself. It'll uh, cause more trouble. Uh, so you can do that to help keep from leaking, okay? So like I say, um, oh, the other thing to watch for is, uh, let's see, do I have one? Oh, uh, some of these, I believe this one's probably for a uh, Kali 94 type, um, and it has a ridge right here. Now the one with the ridge, it needs this flat gasket here to fit right on the inside there in the recess. Otherwise, it, if it gets cocked one way again, and these are not going to work. Okay, because they don't fit down the recess. It might seal, but it's probably not the best way to go. Okay. All right, so that's that one. So 
let's see dual single okay I think I covered just about everything um, these here you tightened up I have seen a hundred pounds uh, specification okay. before just use your crescent wrench and, and tighten them up real snug and sometimes you might loosen tighten it a couple times just to seat that gasket and like I say just watch for fuel in here uh, if you have uh, a power problem at high end you're losing power uh, it could be your power valve not working right now to, to test these uh, to, to test them uh, uh, to get a close reading testing them you need a test bench with scientific instruments which probably none of you have uh, the only other way to do it is to uh, get a hand vacuum tester like I have I don't have it out here right now but uh, in order to test this you got to find something that will go over this so you can apply a uh, vacuum to it and pull it back so you can pull it back at uh, let's say this is a 7.5 and uh, you put your hand vacuum on there and if you can get something that'll cover this at 7.5 or close to it but like I say it's it's not going to be scientific because you don't have a test bench uh, you want to see that get pulled back if not it may be bad uh, in the old days, uh, uh, especially on Hollies, you probably heard this, uh, they, they tend to blow when the car backfires and all that, and uh, that typically does not happen these days. It can happen, but um, uh, if your car backfires, uh, don't jump in and just replace your power valve. You may not necessarily uh, need it. So, oh, and uh, one other thing, uh, 7.5, there's a 7 here, there's a 5 here. At 45 degree angle, that means it's a 7.5. If you have an 8 and a 5, that's 8.5. Uh, that's how you tell by the two numbers. And uh, what that means is that it, it, typically your atmospheric pressure will be 15 inches on a car, 15, 16, something way around there, and, and half of 15 is 7.5. So that's how you measure these things. So if you measure vacuum at the carburetor and it's 15, then you need a 7.5 uh, power valve. All right, there you go. Everything you need to know about power valve. Now this is on the 2150. Uh, they work the same on a 2100, except all 2100s are single stage. Uh, and uh, all the Hollies are single stage. And Hollies works the same way. And uh, typically, a lot of times, they're the same power valve as a Motocraft takes. And uh, uh, but you won't find two stage on a Holly, okay? That I'm aware of anyway. Maybe you can. Anyhow, all right. There you go. Thank you for watching.